Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Irina Shurov, and I'm a neuroscientist and nutrition and health coach. And I just uh, have a passion to bring to you successful stories from parents who live with children with autism and dealing with a certain problems and difficulties in their life. But they find the way how to help and support their children and maximize their potential. So um, I would like uh, with pleasure to introduce today a very special guest of mine who is a very uh, fascinating woman, a very successful business lady and just simply mother of four beautiful girls but um, also who um, experience some issues and problems in everyday life as we all, but also just because one of her uh, daughters been diagnosed with autism some time ago. And I know um, our special guest had uh, some uh, specific issues and of course problems in her life. So the name of my guest, Olga Pavlova, and I'm really happy to welcome you today. And thank you so much for sharing your family story with us, with um, our listeners, because I really think your story and other parents can be very inspiring and motivating for other parents who are finding them in a similar situation. So please share with us your story, how it's all started, what did you feel? Um, it's uh, very interesting to know. Thank you. Thank you, Irina. And hello, everyone. And thank you for honoring me and inviting to share my story and to share my experience and as well, hopefully allowing other parents to find hope and find the way that it's possible to have a change and see a change in your child and in your life. And yes, my name is Olga Pavlova and I'm a proud mother of four beautiful daughters and I run my own business from home and I enjoy what I'm doing and I enjoy as well being mother and I'm in loving relationship right now. My experience of becoming mother and as well experiencing finding out that one of my daughters is autistic was in a way um, challenging at some points and that that uh, so challenging that I couldn't, I, I, it felt like I couldn't cope. Ola, uh, can you tell us just a little bit more exactly what happened? What did you feel when your daughter Michelle was diagnosed with autism and how she was at this point? Yes, the diagnosis didn't come um, straight away. We couldn't really figure out. She wasn't really sleeping well. She was quite um, screamish all the time, banging into doors and not possible to put to sleep and not communicating yet. And it was difficult, just simple things like feeding and putting into a body and dressing up and going outside for a walk. Everything was challenging. So when, when finally the diagnosis came along, did it change your perception what you should do? What kind of treatment and support from medical system you had at that point? Almost none. So we were going through about two years of pre-diagnosis stages with different experts and going to one doctor, making brain scan, checking ears, um, playing with the play therapist. All, all kind of things, but already there were some points where it was possible that it's autism and it was already the professionals were starting to give some tools how to play, mm -hmm. how to communicate. We started to use marketon signing and I know I mentioned to you, but for the, this interview, she started to talk only connecting first two, three words together around four and a half years old. Okay, so and it was obvious delay um, in development. Yeah. Global developmental delay, uh, dyspraxia, um, and as well not ability to use and understand her body and her body in a space. Yeah. And so at what stage you really decided to look into sort of more holistic approach to address this situation and sort of in more sort of a nutritional life changes style as you just said. What was the sort of last drop? How did you come to that solution? 
as I said, because I couldn't cope easily and my partner did, at that time left us because he couldn't cope as well. Yeah. And I needed to cope with already four children and one autistic child. And there was not much really help from medical expert, really not much. They can give you advice. They as well can give you maybe a pill to reduce something, but there is not help and you need help every day right now. So I started to look and research. You started to help yourself. Yes, I started to look and research online what is available there and what alternatives and how our mind works, how our body works. And I just realized that I need to extract some things and add some things to our diet. And I had the biggest breakthrough when I cut the sugars tremendously. And as well, I added lots of omega-3, 6, 9 sources into our diet. And especially for my daughter, Michelle, who needed it at that time. And we had a big breakthrough in about two, three months. It was, that, the, that was the point when she started to talk. Okay, so that was the really point. a previous link for you. Some nutritional yeah. changes and behavior responses uh, yeah. very, in a very short period of time. And it was huge for us. And of course, the science now really make a, that huge connection between brain um, and gut. And we know for sure that is really working. But a few years ago, when you were dealing with it, it wasn't really obvious scientific support for yeah. it. So you really followed your... Uh, parental intuition and just applied and had a tremendous successful effect well what done. helped me what helped me it's when one of the uh, nurses she recommended to run a diary of triggers mm -hmm. that was in the state or make it easier so i was running the diary of what was going on okay i see that she switched off or not responding or shouting screaming what happened what we just done before it could be that we changed the environment, or it could be that we ate something or drank something. And very often, it could be just a funny, cheap drink that we yes. just had five minutes ago. Yes. And it's like, wow, my child, it's changed immediately. Yeah. We need to do something about it. It so is very simple, but very powerful tool. So you see the pattern between something she's putting in her mouth and the behavior straight away. Yes. Um, can you share with us a little bit more how old is Michelle now and what she's doing and what's her achievement obviously with the tremendous support um, in, in, in the family so uh, I'm sure she's doing really well. Michelle now she's 13 years old and as you know we started with global development of delay with the uh, delay in speech with development we were in nappies until eight nine years and we were sleeping in nappies until 10 and i was advised uh, you may hear that i'm double bilingual and our family was and is bilingual but i was advised to stick only with one language but now michelle she is 13 years old she speaks three languages fantastic she is at the moment going to mainstream school and oh, we were wow. going to special school she responding she is having her as well little group of peers and she can communicate her needs in words and we have a big future for her and we trust that she's going to be able to integrate into a society fully and be able to work and to be able to have a family and to because she is able you achieved clearly so much, so very well done to you. And uh, so, but obviously, as you said, the journey was very difficult, especially at the beginning. So there is so many frustrations you probably experienced. So how did you cope with these frustrations? What you could advise the parents who probably want to implement the changes, but it's really scary, as you know, but it's still doable. And uh, please share your favorite maybe tips and tools you applied in your own life. First and foremost, don't try to do it everything by yourself. Don't try to play a superhero mom who is doing everything by herself until she's dead and into a ground. Absolutely. So that's first and foremost, seek for help 
open yourself for help, receive help, communicate with parents, with experts, with, with professionals, with someone who knows what to do. Yeah. And relax. <laughs> this is the good part. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Absolutely. So, what um, if, if you would, for example, a few years ago came across the um, health coach who might navigate these little changes and help you to implement these little changes in your life and support you, as you know, is so important. Would you uh, jump on this opportunity and work with a coach? You think? Absolutely, absolutely. Anything that could help faster, better, and that that can empower me as well as parent and get through the phases that I don't know what to do or I'm scared to make a change or I'm doubting and have someone who is with expertise saying, I know this works, just try. And having that trust is really important. And as well, being able maybe to communicate with other parents who went through the same stages as you are going through with the support of professional, I think it's super important. The faster you get over those stages and receive help to you and to, for your child, the faster you notice those changes, the easier it gets. Absolutely. And it's just absolutely. And we definitely know from experience then um, younger children then easy implement changes, then faster they respond, the yes. more energy parents still have yes. to implement these changes as well. Yes. So um, that's fantastic. It's really a fascinating story. We really, you know, thank you so much for sharing that. Mm -hmm. And so your final maybe just advice and words to the parents who just getting to this journey, who just may be facing this diagnosis tomorrow, what you would say them just in two, three sentences maybe? First of all, I love you and I understand you. <laughs> and to really focus on you and your well-being and as well allowing and accepting that okay your child and your family needs help and it's not usual stage for you right now and have these great expectations for the future to be brighter to be better but as well as as well allowing and accepting that how it is right now it's just fine and little step at the time with the experts, with other people who know and they went and they can help you to go through. You can go this journey and enjoy this journey and that you can as well experience life and joy and you can experience your child looking in, into your eyes and hugging you one day and saying, thank you, mommy, and you being proud of what you've done. That's oh yes thank you so much it's a very touching story and i really hope our listeners will enjoy your uh, personal you know touching really emotional uh, feelings and uh, you're absolutely right i think it's so important to be proud of yourself in this journey and be proud of your child who will receive the maximum potential and the maximum development support from you and from the people around there is a help there please go and find it and search for it and that's so so empowering thank you olga thank you so much so i'm really pleased to uh, share that story with all of you today i'm sure it would be beneficial for many so parents and if you have any questions, if you've got any feedbacks, comments, please leave your comments just under this video or you always can contact me directly on my website, which is www.livright.eu or just send me email, irina at livright.eu. I really, really would be happy to hear your comments back. And uh, I will bring more interesting stories to you. This is so empowering. I feel the energy around me. Just go and do something great. And know what? It's time to go and eat something very healthy. 